Okay, and our final witness will be Clayton Holden. First of all, thank you for allowing us all to speak on behalf of this issue. Um, one thing I'd like to clear up before I testify is President Obama, right before he took office, made a promise to myself and people like myself that he would change the federal law on the rates and arrests towards states that pass protection towards medical marijuana patients like myself. The Attorney General released a press statement six months after he took office and it was on the news and I'm sorry that no one failed to mention it at all. Um, it's something you can see online if you just Google it. Um, on my lap, I hold just two years of emergency room visits that I myself had to go through. And this is when I was only 20 years old. Since then, my disease has gotten so much worse that if you were to see the records for the past two years, it would be about three times the size. I, at one point, I had an EMT on both sides of me. They tried 11 times in both of my arms to get an IV in, and then three times in both sides of my neck because they thought it was the end of my time. During that time, there was also four law enforcement officers because I had to dial 911 to get the the ambulance there. And the look of shock on everyone's face to see them watch me and the pain that I was suffering in made me feel worse than they felt. No one should have to see someone suffer like that. And if anyone can't see the pain and suffering that people go through and show compassion for people less fortunate than themselves, then they have no business in politics, law enforcement, or any of those branches. Politics are supposed to uphold the law and do what's right for the people that they speak on behalf of. And it saddens me that we got so close four years ago and they, that we didn't get passed. Um, I was a medical marijuana patient up until about six months ago when I was given marijuana that was laced. Uh, I am not sure what it was, but it sent me to the emergency room after blacking out and then again a month later, the same thing happened. An officer talked to me at the hospital and said that he would very much not like to show up at the house and see that happen again. Otherwise, there would be legal actions he would have to take. With that said, this law would pass, if passed, would protect me from that ever happening to myself or anyone for that matter. The last thing that I need to say is I have been on every drug known to man for my pain from Vicodin, Oxycontin, Methadone, and right now my pain clinic is considering putting a morphine pump inside my body. I don't deserve it, but if I am to use marijuana ever again and they are now starting regular drug testing and they find that they will not be able to treat my pain, my twisted spine, my pinched nerve, or any of the other issues that I have. I have grown my own gardens of marijuana in California and like many people have said, the laws over there are they're very messed up. But I can say this, 10 months that I was there, 
I went from taking 16 pills a day, which includes 7 Oxycontins a day, down to none. And I came back from California weighing 82 pounds, the most I've ever weighed in all my life. And since I stopped eating marijuana, I am now down to 75 pounds. And I'm sorry, just one more thing. This was the hand that I was dealt, and it could have been dealt to anyone in this room. Anyone sitting here could be easily be in my place. And I became an activist for other people, not myself. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have. I especially want to thank uh, Nicole and Clayton for making the arduous journey here today in the state of the sidewalks. Uh, this will conclude the hearing. There will be a full committee work session on this bill next Wednesday at 9 a.m. in room 205. Thank you all for your attention.